I'm waiting for Greg. He's doing a live. I want to have a conversation with him when it comes to doing nails really, really, really well. Is there that one thing that he did that was like, boom, this is it. And then the success started going. I already know the answer. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Okay, I'll tell you what it is. Greg's secret, his big secret to successful nails, to doing incredible sets of nails is so simple and it's so amazing and it's so incredible. It's simply me. I'm humbled. I feel good about this. I might cry. that sort of like change for you? Like at what point was it in your nail career where like a switch flipped and you were like, oh, and then you actually were like, oh, 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 I, I see it. You know what I mean? You've been doing this for a long time. So for, for, for somebody that's starting out right now and they're in that beginning phase, right? They're gonna learn the fundamentals, all that stuff. but. What is that like sort of like secret of like, was there one thing that happened where it was like, boom, and then the light bulb went off and you're like, oh, oh, now I see it. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day when I was learning to do French, there was no reverse application. You had to learn how to build a white tip with a flawless smile line by actually using your brush and rolling it into pre precision. Right. So I didn't know how to do that. Um, I sought out an instructor who helped me master that. So it took me about four months to perfect. You know, I practiced every day. I mean, and, until I got it. And, and then when I got it, I got it down. Like I, I was like, I was able to do French nails, um, freehand style. Right. right, just with my brush, rolling in the smile lines, adding it absolutely perfect, um, because that's exactly what competitors were doing in the competition arena. There, there, no one was using a reverse application to, to achieve those sharp smile lines. So once I was able to do that, once I was a actually able to freehand build a smile line, I think the dexterity of my hands from just learning how to roll my brush, holding the hand, balancing the brush, it was about four or five months of practicing and it was just I was just working on one nail. I wasn't working on multiple nails. But it's once crazy. I was actually able to get that down flawless, dude, everything opened up. Everything became easy. Everything. Yeah, it was crazy. And I was a hand filer. I didn't even touch an electric file. Yeah. Kathy was the one who showed me how to use an electric file. Working with my brush was one thing, but learning how to use an electric file property, that was a whole nother thing. In the beginning, I, it was awkward. Didn't have the dexterity to hold the hand piece and how to work. But that like initial, like you said, everything opened up. Yes. Like like that was like that first sort of like spark. Yeah, it right? did because I actually it, it helped a lot because I was actually able to hold a brush and balance. So, you know, the, the, you'll notice when you watch me work um, that my my fingers are always in position where I'm actually holding the hand and I have balance so that I don't shake. Right. It's the same across the board with everything that I do, whether I'm polishing, whether I'm using my electric file, whether I'm using my acrylic brush, my gel brush, I always have balance. Um, and, and how do you, can you show that with your hands again? So like what, like literally. You so if I, was hold, if, I, if I was holding your hand, right? So if I, if I was holding you. <laughs> <laughs> so if I was holding your hand, I yeah. was working, right? It's, it's this, it's, it's being able to position your finger in a way so that if you're working with acrylic, right, you're in balance. Or if I was using an electric file, right, I'm in this position, again, I'm holding onto the handpiece, I'm actually able to work it over the areas, you can see how my finger is balancing through. If I'm polishing nails as well, I'm using my fingers and my hands to balance as I'm polishing, it's, it's, it's this. It, it's this fulcrum, this balancing point that you have to be able to master. And I think for all beginners, in order for you to get better at 
doing nails, the dexterity of applying acrylics, gels, nail polish, gel polish, using your electric files, has everything to do with balance. The balance. Yeah. It, it really is the key. And, and in the beginning, it'll be awkward because you're not used to holding a hand and a brush and working at the same time. But if you work at it daily, constantly, it's like you're working out your hands. And if you're doing this on a regular basis, it's only a matter of time before your hands, your hand muscles get used to this motion. Well, bro, Mr. Miyagi said it, bro. He told Danielson, go learn balance. Danielson? Danielson, bro. Danielson, Karate Kid. Danielson. Danielson, that's what I'm saying. Danielson. Danielson. <laughs> no, <laughs> whatever, bro. He told Danielson, go in the water, in the ocean, go learn balance. Same thing with nails. <laughs> Go learn balance. <laughs>